escaping half gas. And this got me cross space and the pressuring me in not a good position to, to be in. Um, there's uh, three, three main ways you can get out of here. Um, one is to start trying to frame to recover so I can get my hand underneath the, the head, take space, get my legs in. There are all these frames here, I'm going to leg back. Another way that I can get the underhook. Um, now, that can be achieved by doing it essentially like a, like a John Wayne sweep. So if I still live off balance here, if you have to balance, or maybe not, just fall over, or force your balance with that hand. Okay? When you balance with that hand, I can get my underhook. And then when she re uh, drops her weight back, I'm using the underhook to get the half guard I want, which is with the underhook. And the third one is to use a uh, butterfly hook to recover, which is what will work today. So live. Drop your hips a little bit to the side. So if, she, if her hips have dropped a little bit to the side like this, and she's really tight, it's going to be hard for me to John Wayne sweep and I'll, I'll balance her. And it's hard, if her head's really tight, it's hard for me to get my hands underneath to like frame off. So we're going to work to, to get a butterfly hook. So my right hand here is going to block this hip. So that when I move, this doesn't follow me too well. So I move my hip away, and my left foot is going to come in and pull. Like just in front of the thigh. Now, you see, if I don't do the hip out, I'll never get the, the hook. It's too hard to get. I need to move my hips away. Hook. And then this hook here is not very good yet. So if I try to sweep with this, lift would just kick off and she'll pass my gut. So don't, don't get this hook and think it's really good yet. You have to square back up and then try to elevate them. To, to, to use it effectively. Okay, so now that I'm square, I'm in a much better position. Okay, so again, I get the, I block the leg, hip out, get my hook, square back up. Uh, if Liv was a lot heavier, or even now, if Liv stays really heavy, if I try to lift her up here with the hook, it's difficult. Even though I'm using my hand, it's hard to elevate her. I need to get her weight forward. Okay, so get her weight forward, I'm gonna use my right knee, knee in the butt, like that, and that's gonna do most of the end, okay? So you actually, once you get your hook, and you square up, you square up and you move lower, so that you can knee with your thigh, like this, to bring their weight forward. As the weight goes forward, I push up with my hand and my hook. I get two butterfly hooks, push away, and I sit up. We're gonna stop just here at first. Once again, block, rip out, we get our hook, scoot back under, and knee goes right behind the butt. Everything comes forward, my right hand on the hip, and my left uh, hook will lift as I bring my weight forward. I get two hooks, and then I have to sit up at the same time as I push her back. Like this, not two separate motions, okay? Don't push, and then her weight's low again, and now it's hard to sit up, she can keep me back, okay? Um, Lastly, I don't want people to do this because I told this earlier in the week and people were doing this, okay? Uh, get your first hook and then try and get your second hook. Okay, here is not that, I'm on my, to get my second hook here while I'm, while Liv's flattening me out, I'm like on my right side. If Liv sprawls and starts to pass, she's going to start to get past that leg. I've got a poor leverage here. I get, and it's really hard to bring Liv, uh, really hard to bring Liv forward from here. Even if I do get two hooks and I'm flat on my back, harder to move with forward than if I've got my right leg behind the butt, bumping her forward, okay? So don't go for the second hook. We get our first hook, scoot under, bump forward, lift. Then we can push away, sit up, we're ready to do our sleep. Okay. Let's go. Uh, three minutes each on that. Three, two, one. <laughs> Show it works. Huh? All right. uh, just Outtakes. One. No, I'm fine. <laughs> 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 He's gonna, he's gonna run, run by me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yolando Sanchez so, escape. So we got Matt here. Um, I just want to emphasize the things here that, that make this, this, this work. So, if out, I get my hook. If I'm still on my side, a few people are still sort of on their side and trying to bump, this doesn't work here. I really need to be like, 
flat on my back, if anything, a little bit on my on my left hip, bumping this this hip here. Okay, so I should uh, with Matt. If I can bump him forward, be able to lift. You get two hooks, hold him up quite strong here. Now, if I try to push him back without sitting up, then here now I can't get up. Right, when I've got him up, I need to push away and sit at the same time. Like this. Okay, now I'm up. Let's do one of this. Okay. All right, let's work out. No. <laughs> Let's work out sweep from here. Common mistake would be I want to do a butterfly sweep. Uh, I don't want to go flat on my back and butterfly down. I never want to be flat on my back and butterfly down. So if, if Matt's here and I try to uh, fall back and then lift, I'm going to get stuck. Okay? I go back. I need a good angle. So I post my hand on the mat and I scoot out on. As far as I can to my, my right, well, through maintaining a hook. The hook has to be on the outside, like this. Now when I fall, I'm not going to fall on my back, I'm going to fall purely to the side. My shoulder's going this way. Okay. From here, it's much harder for Matt to redirect me to my right. If I fall, I block the arm, and I can lift with this hook. Okay. In terms of the grip, best grip I can get, Matt's making it easy for me by holding, um, but I'm going to grip the elbow and my own elbow is going to track his hand so he can't post. So I fall to the side and I lift and we come through into side control. Now, without posting, so I you could think, oh, why don't I just fall to the side here? Without moving my hips, though, very easy for Matt to just say nope and he just takes me back. Yeah, this way, that's right. Yeah. So, <laughs> if he wants to do that, I need to be posting and moving out. Now, if, if Matt tries to do that again, it should be much harder, and I can start to get out on my side more. If I get enough on my side, which is all the way here, uh, have a look at where my left foot is, yeah? So I'm taking my left foot out, and it helps stop him taking me. My left foot, yeah. Uh, when he tries to take me back to the other side now, I can drive off the bat and force him this way. Okay, so. If we find it harder and harder, my bottom leg starts moving out to help post. And you drive off the You look at when you go to post, and then you can't like reset the chest or something, but you can come and grab the it. Like it's more important I get my angle and then try and deal with the grip <laughs> than have the grip but not have my angle. So. What about Pretty similar. What about as you're, as you're coming out wide, is there any risk of him slipping off that hook? Um, uh, I've got a, the, I can see, the risk is that I get my leg in that human knee on the So I don't want, never want my knee to point inwards. Now if he sprawls, I'm going to uh, pass my go. So we go back. Even though I'm moving out, I'm keeping my knee pointing out. So if Maddie goes to sprawl here, I should still have a pull. All right, guys, let's try that. So we're going to sit up, post, scoot out to the side. If you want, you can practice swimming this inside leg underneath. Grab the elbow, trap it, fall to your shoulder, and lift. Three, two, one. I talked about putting the hand and, and posting. It's possible to not do that. Sometimes you can do like a little butt pop uh, to get out to the side. You need to use the momentum of when you sit up. Okay, so sometimes um, you've, like you've just got them elevated here. You can already you already have the you know you've got control of the arm. Sometimes you can push away, and I've got my hips out to the side. Okay, so I just kind of it's hard to do without a partner, but kind of like. Put your feet on the mat just for a second and fall. You actually, like, as soon as you move, you're already falling. You can't, like, stabilize that. As soon as my, as soon as I do my butt hop, I'm, I'm on my side already, which is which is where I am. You can't do a quick like that, but if you feel like it's not right, you want to scoot, get your angle. All right, let's do some specific training. You're running against the wall. 